acrobatics. We're aged 21 to 28 and we're from all over England. We'll be taking the judges outside for our act. What's this happening out in the rain? I'm dreading this. What, standing outside? Oh. You've been outside before. <laughs> Not real. If it rains or snows or is really cold, it won't affect us. We'll just get on with our act. But it may affect the judges. They'll probably need a few umbrellas and maybe some coats and some towels. I really don't mind carrying them. Oh, look, there they are. Oh, OK. Thank you. <laughs> this act is definitely something new to Britain's Got Talent. So we really hope that they enjoy it. What do we do? Will we wipe the, the towel on them? So the whole audience, us and the judges, have all come outside to watch our first act. I really hope it's worth it because it's pouring down. <laughs> nice to meet you girls. Um, are you cold? Is the water's warm, yeah? No. Um, so tell me how this act came together. Um, we've been performing together for a few years. We use our skills as former um, international synchronised swimmers to perform events and shows. Events such as my wife and I's wedding. <laughs> These girls performed at uh, me and Lara's wedding party. A bit excessive. <laughs> That's different though, I like that. Okay, so girls, why aren't you entering the Olympics? We were all on the British team, but for a variety of reasons, we've all retired in the last four years. So okay. now we're using our skills in this way. We're all former international synchronized swimmers for Great Britain, um, but we have all retired within the last four years. About a year ago, I was on the British team and I trained for three and a half years for the one dream of going to the London 2012 Olympic Games. A year ago, um, I faced deselection. This is almost the second chance to be able to fulfil that dream and maybe even win Britain's Got Talent. It would be the best. And how difficult is this next act going to be? It's really difficult. 80% of it is underwater, so it's like running and holding your breath at the same time. OK, girls, well, best of luck. Thank you. Come on, girls. Let's hope this works. It looks freezing. That was absolutely great. Well done. Right, the only person who really is an expert on this kind of thing is David. Well, I'm not an expert. I like, I like swimming, but I've never done synchronised swimming, and I know it's one of the hardest things to do, because you need such strength to do that, but you also need real grace and beauty, and, and you girls have got both. I was completely blown away. You're so clever, you're strong, you're beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Well done, girls. Really good. I'll tell you what I like about the act is that I kind of got quite patriotic. Um, it made me feel proud. It made me feel British proud, and yeah. And excited about and the excited, Olympics. yeah. And you look amazing. Yes. I, I thought it's like having a see-through bar. <laughs> <laughs> OK, right, we're going to vote. David? I love you, it's a yes. Alicia? It's a yes from me, girls. Now the one that 
other towns. It's true, yes. <laughs> Them? They were very good. Yeah, they're very talented, good. aren't they? Yes. Oh, so good. Did you hear what Simon said? And he said, you, and you look amazing. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You know what yeah. it's like? It was like being in a human aquarium. Yes. Now think about it. I've had an idea now. Okay. Don't have fish aquariums in your house. Have humans who live in an aquarium. Mm. 